All right, guys, I'm here at the Toronto Super Show, whatever you call it, the Toronto Pro Super Show. So it's supposed to be like bodybuilding, fitness, uh, strongman competition, uh, what else, powerlifting, and I might be leaving something out, probably, because, uh, yeah. So anyways, this is my first time coming here since 2010. Uh, I had to meet some people here, otherwise I would not be here, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a little video. So, as you can see me, I'm dressed pretty good, but I don't know about everybody else. So, I was actually talking to somebody the other day about what should a personal trainer look like. Okay, what should a personal trainer look like? I couldn't come up with how they should look like. I came up with reasons of how they shouldn't look like, right? And if you could just take a look around me now, you can see everybody's wearing t-shirts, track pants. I don't know, these guys look like they're gonna wash their car, okay? I wouldn't leave my house like that. You see me the way I leave my house? Boss shirt, okay, paid jeans. I got a camera because I got a hobby, okay? Camera bag. That's how I leave my house, guys. Okay, I would never let my, you know, I wear track pants all day in the gym where I work. Why would I want to wear track pants to, I don't know, am I supposed to meet a girl now or something? Am I supposed to like pick up girls or am I supposed to like meet a, a new client? Am I supposed to meet new acquaintances? Like, I don't know, like, how, is that the way you do it now with the track pants on? Whatever happened, put it on a suit or wear nice clothes. You know what I mean? So how should a personal trainer look? How about dressing nice for once? You know, when you're not in the gym. Who says you gotta be like all the time in a track pad or tank top and showing off your muscles? I think that's so, uh, I don't know, so shallow or something. There's no substance behind that, you know what I mean? I'm wearing a nice shirt now and I don't know if people can tell that I lift or I don't lift. I mean, a lot of people here know me, they know I lift, obviously, and I'm probably one of the oldest guys here. But I don't need to show off that I lift. I don't need to go to a club and wear a super tight shirt hey man I left I'm on the juice you know what I mean and that's kind of the perception I'm getting around here and I've been in this industry long enough to actually make these comments right it's not like I'm new to this or uh, you know I just got into this whatever I've been around this now for three decades and that's been my biggest complaint what a personal trainer should look like well look they're all wearing track pants and short G look track pants tank tops what are you trying to show me? What are you, like, uh, I don't know. I mean, on one end, you're trying to say, hey man, we make so much money and I buy $120 uh, coffees and I'm traveling and I got so many clients, but then, I don't know, you look like a bum, you know what I mean? I mean, you don't even look like you got a job if you're walking out of the house with a track pants and a tank top. That's either you're working out in the gym or you're washing the car. I don't know, that's the way I was raised, I'm not sure. Another thing is, if you watch my other video that I made when I walked around, you'll see that there's no food here, okay? So basically, it's all protein powders and supplements and false hopes, like, you know, look at that, okay? Uh, what do we got? Creatine, high-grade supplements, whey protein, whole shit like that, okay? And you can see these guys, they're just gobbling it all up. They all believe it. Hey, like, what can I buy? You know what I mean? And there's no real food here to say, hey, you know, there's no restaurant here that's booked a booth and say, hey, you know what? If you're in Toronto, you live in Toronto, we make good food that, you know, healthy food that you can eat. Part of your diet, your healthy lifestyle. There isn't in that. There isn't any restaurant here that's advertising, hey, you know what I mean? I get it. I mean, this is a pretty big show. It's been going on for uh, a long time, right? But, I mean, we haven't really progressed much when you're talking about we got supplements here and that's about it as far as food, tank tops, muscle shirts, track pants, people waiting in line for giveaways from, uh, from uh, GNC back there. You can see that big lineup. That's for somebody to spin the wheel. I don't know, man. If I want something, I will buy it. You know what I mean? If I don't got the money and I really, really need it, I'll save up for it. I'm not waiting in that. I'm not wasting my afternoon here. I don't waste my afternoon here anyways. I'm here for actually, I had to meet a couple of people here. I know people that are competing here today. I haven't seen people in a long time, people out of town. 
say, hey, how are you? And actually they had to like convince me to come down here because I'm like, okay, why don't we just meet somewhere else? But I'm kind of both shocked and not surprised. I mean, I'm not even dressed nice. I mean, I just came back from, you know, <laughs> I'm just wearing a regular, regular shirt, man, a regular boss shirt with paid jeans, right? And that's it. I don't know. I mean, I would never come out of my house wearing track pants and come downtown in the middle of downtown <laughs> okay, and start wearing track pants and a tank top to show everybody, hey, I, I work out. I've been working out since I was, I don't know, man, since I was born, right? So, I don't know. I got to, like, show everybody. So that's one of the things. What should a personal trainer look like? Once you look like a human being, once you look like a decent professional, and put on a shirt and say, hey, you know what? I'm capable of getting you in shape. I know what I'm talking about. I have experience, okay? And this is the gym life and the real life. And real life coming outside with track pants and waiting in line for protein powders and supplements and stuff like that. I don't know. And that's why we got the bad perception. It is a perception. It's reality, okay? People waiting in line for protein powders, people gobbling up pills, Supplement this, supplement that. I mean, if you came here and see, look at this big lineup here behind me. Look, 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 look. People waiting in line for free samples. Free samples, guys, free samples. If I want, I just walk up there and go buy a couple of a case and have it delivered to my house. If, it, if I need it, you know what I mean? If I need it, I'm not showing off that I have that kind of money. If I need it, I want it, it's part of my lifestyle. It's in my lifestyle, you know what I mean? But just because the protein powder, protein company says, hey, build extra muscle, hey, more absorption, more of this. Are you that stupid? <laughs> you can't be like telling me you have an advanced uh, knowledge of exercise physiology, advanced knowledge of nutrition, and then be waiting in lineups for protein powders made God knows who knows how. I don't know how they're made. You know how they're made? I don't know how they're made. Okay? Protein bars. Okay? You've never seen a... And guys, when I say personal trainers, I'm talking about like personal trainers, strength and conditioning coaches, chiropractors, doctors, okay? That's all my umbrella, okay? So, how should a personal trainer look? Once you dress nice, once you look nice, and once you be a good role model by actually eating real food. I mean, when my clients say, hey man, how come I never see you eating that protein bar or that protein chip? Are you joking me, man? Have you seen the food that I eat? Does it look, does it look like I eat that crap? You know what I mean? I have eaten that stuff a long time ago, but I don't even know what that looks like, what that feels like. I don't know. Like, you ask these guys, what's it made? Can you bring it to the factory and show me how it's made? No, they wouldn't. And I bet you these guys wouldn't know, okay? Look, you got to come down in a tank top, right, guy? Look. I mean, what for? What are you trying to show me? I mean... I'm a strength conditioning coach, personal trainer. I'm in the gym all day. I have been for 20 something years, okay? And then, these guys, I go and talk to them, just a joke, okay? Just to see. And they actually talk to you very aggressive. Like they're, I don't know, it's a testosterone thing, a raging thing, I'm not sure. And I have to put some people in their place that are like, buddy, don't talk to me like that, okay? I probably forget more in a day than you learned in your whole life when it comes to exercise physiology so don't tell me what this protein powder does or what this machine does or what this bar does I don't need I didn't come here for that man I just want to know how much it is and where I can get it how much you ship it that's it I'm just playing around here you don't got to walk up to people and be aggressive and say hey whoa easy tough guy you know what I mean so what should a personal trainer look like speak like a gentleman Speak like a professional, okay? I have a lot of people saying, oh man, I can't even approach that personal trainer. I can't even approach that chiropractor. I can't even approach that coach. I know you can, because I can't either. So it's not me, it's not my clients, it's not people that I know that are just bumping into. It's the industry. A lot of people are just too aggressive, and you can see them. They got to show off that they lift. They got to show off their muscle. And I'm trying to think now, like, I mean, is this something psychological? Is there something like with two bodybuilding where kind of ruins people's, uh, I don't know, man. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to think that it's getting psychological for people where they forgot what real food is. They forgot how to dress. They forgot how to act. You know what I mean? And they need to be always uh, mindful or something about the way they look. Like I've seen a lot of cosmetic surgery here. And I'm not just talking about fake boobs. I'm talking about, like, 
permanent eyeliner and this and that. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of like to the extreme. Fake hair. It's like, you know, people can't walk around without their, um, their makeup case or something. Like, God, man. You know what I mean? So, what should a personal trainer look like? Probably, if you are a personal trainer, chiropractor, <laughs> coach, you know, giving out exercise advice, giving out nutrition advice, probably watch my other video. And don't be like that guy, okay? Don't be like that guy where you gotta leave the house in a track pad to show everybody, hey man, okay? Put on a nice shirt, man, you'll be more respected, okay? It doesn't have to be an expensive shirt. Just wear a nice shirt, look like a decent human being, wear some nice pants, have a hobby outside the gym. Don't be consumed with, oh, I gotta go to the workout. Ooh, I gotta eat this at a certain time. Ooh, I gotta go to sleep. Oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Guy, there's a life out. That's not called fitness to me. I wouldn't even consider that healthy. Some of the way these guys live, some of the lifestyle choices that these guys make almost seem to me like they're brainwashed. I gotta sleep a certain time. Can't do this, can't do that. Gotta go to the gym, gotta do my cardio, gotta do my yoga. Balance, guys, balance. But at the end of the day, it becomes into reality. Let's stick around with presentation, okay? I think most of the people that I train, if I walked up to them in a track pants or something, I met them at a restaurant here in downtown Toronto with a track pants and a tank top, I'm pretty sure the guys that I deal with probably wouldn't even look at me, okay? Honestly, honest, probably wouldn't even look at me, okay? Be a professional, dress nice, dress for the occasion, and tank tops and track pants are the occasion of a gym, not or washing the car, okay? Not going out in public, okay? fake pan okay another thing is food people are watching these personal trainers coaches strength conditioning guys whatever they're not eating real food so now they're saying oh I can have a shake oh I should take this pill oh this taste that taste okay this flavor okay that dessert that bar I mean guys it's not real food okay and People are watching you. People are like, oh, I want to look like that guy. Now, forget the fact that most of these people probably are on some sort of drugs. Okay, I'm not going to talk about drugs in this, but obviously, you can't be that naive to, re to, to not realize that some of these people, most of these people are on something, right? Okay, good. But people are watching you say, hey, I want to I wanna have a lifestyle like that too. I want to be like that, okay? I want to do what they're doing to look somewhat like that and then they see you eating protein bars and protein shakes and uh, these designer foods or whatever package it's basically packaged foods right and what first of all what is it okay I would argue it's garbage I would argue it's junk food I would argue it's processed food and if you've been following my diet for any length of time my social media you'll know I don't eat that kind of crap and if I do eat anything desserty or sweetie, I probably made it, my mom probably made it, my aunt probably made it, or I know the chef. Or if I've eaten out in a restaurant, again, I probably know the chef, okay? So, what should a personal trainer look like? Well, again, what should a personal trainer not look like? People are watching you, and what do you think when you have a female that's 40 pounds overweight and has never exercised, and she's watching you eat all these protein bars and protein shakes, what is she supposed to think? You're setting up an example, a bad example, not even a healthy example, not even a progressive, productive, not even a progressive, not even a productive example, okay? Because some of these things, we don't even know what's in them, okay? And some of these things could be inhibiting their fat loss goal, okay? Could be saying, hey, it's low in carbs, but meanwhile, it's loaded with sugar. How do you know? Do you know them? You don't know. You know? Have you, like, you trust these guys? You trust these bodybuilding companies? Really? Come on. Okay? So, setting by example by eating real food, not much chance for error, is there? I mean, you know how much carbs is in an apple? You know how much carbs is in a cherry? You know how much carbs is in a, how much protein is in a steak? I mean, look at me. I've been pomegranate for dessert or beef. People are like, that's your dessert? Yes, that's my dessert. How it was delicious. What was your dessert? Oh, I had a, a bar. You gotta try this new flavor, coach. I don't gotta try no flavor, man. I don't even know what you're talking about. 
okay? And people are watching you, right? And you're not setting up a good example. And people are watching me right now because they know I'm right, right? Why wouldn't I be right? Am I saying something wrong? What am I saying? Leave the house and look like a professional, okay? Have a hobby outside of fitness, okay? Wearing a tank top all day is not, doesn't give me the, the idea that this person has a life, okay? It doesn't have a life outside the gym, okay? Everything is like gym, drugs, yoga, protein bars. Some of these guys say they don't even have time to cook. You don't got time to cook, but you're posting your, your sets online all day, okay? Wasting time, okay? Going to shows like this, which I have no idea what would be a benefit, okay? Unless you're meeting people that you haven't seen in a long time, like I am out of towner, you got clients here that are competing. I mean, what did you come here for? To buy protein powder? They're not even on discount. It's another thing, but anyway, I'll keep my mouth shut about that. Look behind me here, okay? I don't know if you can see it. Liquid muscle, liquid muscle, okay? Liquid muscle. And you take somebody who just got into this field, okay? And they see advertising like that, they're obviously gonna believe it, because look at the guys in here, they're, they're in shape, supposedly, right? So, again, it's a false, false advertisement, because they look like they're in shape, but trust me, some of these guys are not in shape, okay? If you take some of these guys up to the farm to start moving hay, to start digging a hole, yeah, it's not gonna be a good good afternoon for you. I try. It's not gonna be a, end up a good day for you, for you, you know what I mean? These guys will probably collapse. You have to have a, a, a defibrillator on, uh, on uh, the premises that you're going to get some of these guys who they don't even know what work is some of these guys okay like and that's what people don't get they're seeing something that they want to see but isn't so much reality you've seen somebody with a healthy body you uh, probably think that hey they work out and that's how they got that way yes or no could have got that way with drive. Possibly, huh? Okay. I don't know, like getting 20 inch arms and being 8% uh, body fat. I don't know, it's pretty hard, I think, right? It's not a normal thing. Then when you see somebody with a nice body, you obviously think that they're eating well. Okay. Well, how many personal trainers do you see on Instagram eating well? And when they do, how come personal trainers never show you what they eat every meal, huh? How come personal trainers never say, hey, this is what I had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do that every day. Or document publicly, document publicly what they eat, okay? To say, hey, you know what? I had a snack and that's what it was. Hey, I had lunch, that's what I had. I had this in the between. Everything that they eat. How come a personal trainer, chiropractor, strength and conditioning coach, uh, whatever, any health practitioner that gives out uh, exercise and diet advice. How come they never do that? Say every meal. Have you guys noticed that I put most of my meals, I probably post 90% of my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I take pictures of, I have them. Maybe if I haven't posted them, I have them on file. Somebody can see them. One of my clients might be seeing them. I motivate them because I motivate my clients by actually showing them what I do, like exactly what I do, okay? Being a role model, of how to do it and actually not how to do it but how I am doing it you know what I mean and you don't tell somebody to eat like healthy but you're not eating because you got no time because you're posted on Facebook and your Instagram and whatever because it's so important to show everybody you got arm you have a vein in your arm you're so important to show everybody you squat over 500 pounds big deal like somebody cares I got news for you guys nobody cares okay so what should a personal trainer look like getting back to that we look like idiots sometimes, okay? Uh, to God, we look like idiots sometimes. And that's just basically it. Presentation, okay? Yeah, I'll say it, I'm the best dressed guy here. I walk around, okay? I mean, check out the other video when I walked around. I'm not the best dressed guy here, really? I'm not? Come on, okay? Second of all, I haven't, I'll explain food later, but, I mean, look at these guys, they look like they haven't, I mean, they're waiting in line for a small sample of protein shake, protein, I mean, come on, you know what I mean? I mean, you're embarrassing yourself. I mean, do you have kids? Are your kids watching you? Okay, you're not eating real food. You're probably posting this online. Many of your clients are watching you, okay? Hey, is that my personal trainer? Is that my chiropractor? Is that my doctor going to such a big, 
a show like this with thousands of people wearing a tank top, wearing a, a short sleeve shirt, wearing track pants? Is that my, the guy that I hire? Is that the girl that I hire? Is that the person that I'm consulting with to get in shape? That's what they're eating, protein powder, protein bars, pills, uh, machines and potions and lotion. And you know, it makes you wonder, right? So not so much, not so much to put everybody down, but I mean, take it from a guy who's been in this industry for a long, long time, okay? And I'm getting out of it soon. And I'll only be helping out people that I actually know. I'm not even accepting clients. The people that I train, I actually know or have been to refer to me by people I actually do know, okay? So for guys, if you're just like, you know, having, you know, be mindful of what you're wearing in public, okay? Be mindful of what you're eating, okay? I mean, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if your clients are watching you eat protein powders, I mean, what do you want them to think, okay? If you're, if you're telling your clients you're too busy to cook and you're eating protein powders, I mean, are you setting up a really good example? Really? You look like an idiot, okay? So I'm gonna end this off, guys. I said what I wanted to say. I'm kind of glad I did come here. First time, uh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years that I'm here. I seen who I had to see, okay? My business is done here, but, you know, when the conversation comes up and you say, hey, what should a personal trainer look like? Well, they say it should look muscular, should look ripped, should look in shape, should be strong. That's not, personal trainers are not models. Chiropractors are not models, okay? Nobody said that because you are a personal trainer, or chiropractor, or strength conditioning coach. Nobody said you had to have 20 inch arms and be 8% body fat. I didn't get that memo, okay? And certainly at age 46, I'll never look like that, I never have, okay? And nor do I want to, okay? I want to look like a decent human being, a real human being, okay? Somebody that actually does go to the gym, okay? Somebody that is drug free, somebody that goes in the kitchen and cooks, okay? Somebody that goes and works and makes an honest pay and has a life outside the gym and dresses up nice, goes out nice, has hobbies outside the gym, goes out, goes traveling, has friends, you know what I mean? And that's the thing. So a lot of people ask me what a personal trainer looks like. A lot of people got the wrong idea. Well, that guy should be benching 300. That girl doesn't, is too fat. I hear it all the time, but they're, they're, I mean, being ripped up like that, I mean, I don't know, how did you get like that? And is it really reality? You know what I mean? I mean, some of these guys are weighing their food. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> come on. Now I'm like, I'm cutting it off right there, okay? When I see people weighing food and stuff like that, I know this person can't be good, man. No way, okay? Or this person has stiff, their wife is waiting at a, at a restaurant for them and they decided to do an extra 15 minutes of cardio. These people are not good, okay? So, what should a personal trainer look like? Giving you some ideas of, uh, you know, if you're looking for a personal trainer, maybe that gives you a lot of things to think about, that hey, maybe there are normal people out there. Maybe there are normal personal trainers out there, coaches, strength coaches, chiropractors, doctors. Maybe there are normal people out there that are in this industry for real, as a career, not as models. Some of these guys are not coaches, personal trainers, they're models, okay? And that's why you hardly see any 40 plus, even 35 year old plus trainers. You hardly see them because they're burnt out. They're not healthy anymore. They don't eat anymore. They've given up. Not to mention the money. It's very difficult to make money in this industry, okay? One of the biggest personal trainer uh, coaches uh, complaints you'll see is that they can't get clients. Of course you can't get clients. There's a lot of money out there, guys. There's a lot of people out there that will hire you. But because our industry is filled with people that are walking to the house with track pads, eating protein powder, posting shit on Instagram all day, looking like fools, these people with money that want to hire you and need your help, they will not hire you. You don't hire people that don't come out as presentable, as real, as uh, you know, genuine, okay? And maybe what they see is something that they don't want to do. Not everybody wants to start taking protein powders and going to sleep at seven o'clock and doing an hour cardio every day. It's, I mean, there's gotta be a balance here, there's gotta be a life and everything's gotta tie in. And it doesn't matter how you 
look, and I, I mean that in a, just because somebody is ripped to shreds doesn't mean that they are smarter than me. Okay, could be a many other factors. Most of them illegal, by the way, is how they got that way. And then it's not. I mean, take it for me. What you've never seen a fat girl or a fat guy on steroids or on drugs, really? And after a while, guys, you're either in this industry for real or you're not. And what do I mean by that? There's people, men and women, that are on drugs, but because they can't maintain the diet, because they eat crap, okay? So it comes back to lifestyle choice. You see me, I don't allow crap in my diet, right? Okay, so you got these guys that are on drugs. They only look good when they're competing or summer. And then because they allow garbage in their life, donuts, hey man, look at me, look how many donuts I got, right? They're fools. And then even though they're on drugs, now they're fat. Now we got a big problem because now they're taking drugs, which should make them look better. But now they're also eating crappy food, which makes them fat and sick. And now you got a vicious cycle that's going to go on. And again, there's people out there that are looking for people to help them. And it's probably a lot of people that can't even help themselves. Okay? I'm going to end this, guys. What is the personal trainer? How should a personal trainer look? Probably not ripped up and stuff like that, okay? That's a model, okay? And I got other stuff to say about leaving the house and looking presentable, okay? You know what I mean? And actually eating real food because people are watching you live your healthy lifestyle and throwing protein powders down your throat with who knows what flavors and whatever blah 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 look packaged food right behind me okay packaged food hey i'm too busy because i'm posting on facebook okay let me buy packaged food okay guys what's wrong with our industry okay this is why this is why i made this video okay there's a lot going on in, the, in our industry and it's embarrassing and there are a lot of people in our industry that mean well that are do well and could do a good job great job but they can't because they're not seen. Because people are seeing the muscles and the glitter and the, the false hopes and they're not actually seeing the reality of, hey, this is the way I eat. Yeah, I'm a little bit overweight, but that's the way I eat. I'm still healthy, I'm still strong. No, you don't know what you're doing. That guy knows what he's doing because he's got washboard abs. He's got washboard abs, but because he's on a bucket load of drugs, okay? So a lot of people are seeing things that are not reality. And probably this isn't reality, okay? Uh, eating protein powders and stuff, okay, and waiting in line for freebies. Uh, thank God, uh, thank God I was raised a little bit better than that. We'll never do that. And I'm out of here. I'm gonna say bye to everybody, and um, that's it. So, guys, what should a personal trainer look like? Give you some ideas. If you're in the if you're in the market for hiring a personal trainer, hopefully I gave you some uh, sunshine in your life. Okay. That's it. That's it. IFBB Pro. I go shopping. I eat shit. And let me show everybody how I eat it on bodybuilding.com. And then everybody believes it. And then they never reach their goal. And years pass by, years pass by. And what do you do? You give up. It's just like a lot of people give up. That's why I told you earlier on. You don't see too many coaches that are 45 still in this industry. Because they were fake coaches from the beginning. And they gave up. Okay? They were either fake somewhere or down the line, or they gave up down the line, which means that it was not what you were looking for. Okay? When I talked to people that they quit drinking, they didn't know how to cook, so they took cooking lessons, or they spent more time in the kitchen, less time on social media. These are the guys that are actually living the real lifestyle. It has nothing to do with, oh my God, he's ripped. Who cares if he's ripped? What does that mean? I don't understand. You know what I mean? Does he eat good food? Yeah, okay. So. You'd rather, you'd rather go follow a guy that's eating shit food, garbage, packaged food, supplement, and has a ripped up body, because he's on drugs, but you don't know that. I mean, it's not your business, right? And you wouldn't know, how would you know? As opposed to a real coach that, maybe I mean, doesn't have a six foot ab, but looks great as far as I'm concerned. But he eats well and he's trying to teach you to eat well. Anyways, I'm gonna go, so everybody probably thinks I'm uh, talking too much shit around here. I'm surprised nobody's actually said something to me. But anyways, whatever, man. Uh, yeah, okay. What should a personal trainer look like? I don't know, maybe like me? 
All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Uh, peace out here at the Toronto Pro Show 2009. And, uh, well, whatever. Not impressed at all. All right, guys, take care.